Hello everyone, Namaskar. Today we are going to find the expansion of tan inverse x plus h with the help of Taylor's theorem. So while finding the expansion of any function with the help of Taylor's theorem, what are the steps? In the first step, we write whatever function is given that to be equal to f of x plus h. So here f of x plus h is tan inverse x plus h. In the next step, we put h equals to 0 so that we can get fx. So if we put h equals to 0, we will get fx as tan inverse x. Fine. Now in order to get at least three terms in the expansion, we need two derivatives at least. So let's find the first derivative. So tan inverse x derivative is 1 upon 1 plus x square. You all know. This, because we want one more derivative, we can easily write this as 1 plus x square power minus. Let's find the second derivative. So, second derivative will be power rule. So, minus 1 comes in front. 1 plus x square power is decreased by 1. And derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of x square is 2x. So, this I can write as minus 2x divided by 1 plus x squared power 2. Fine. What is the Taylor series expansion? We have f of x plus h equals to fx plus h times f dash x plus h squared by 2 factorial times f double dash x and so on. f of x plus h here is tan inverse x plus h. So that can be written as f of x is tan inverse x plus h tan. First derivative came out to be 1 upon 1 plus x squared. Fine. And what came out to be the second derivative? Second derivative came out to be negative 2x by 1 plus x square power 2. Let's simplify this a bit. So tan inverse x plus h. This will go on can be written as tan inverse x plus h upon 1 plus x square. Now 2 factorial is 2 so I can cancel that 2. Minus will come in front x square and you can write x by 1 plus x square raised to power 2. That's it. Plus you get more terms. Okay. So I don't think the overall steps are difficult if you know how to differentiate functions. This is going to be very very easy because you already know how to differentiate. You know various rules like quotient rule, chain rule, product rule. All of them can be used and you must under, uh, remember that Taylor series expansion and just put the values in that. This is just a 1 to 2 minute uh, game to uh, solve this type of problem. So that's it for today. We'll see you with some more problems and this all will go into the playlist Taylor and McLaurin series. Thanks again.